Sullivan Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Autumn Oaks for another Chevy bashing, I mean, uh, farming episode here. We're currently heading up to the uh, shop here, taking our uh, Ford truck up there. We got a little something at the shop here I kind of maybe hinted at uh, last episode that uh, we should really uh, pick up and move out of there. It's been sitting there for the uh, the last how many episodes here. So we'll get that uh, we'll get that moved out of here and uh, hopefully make use of it here this uh, episode. We'll see when something will work or not. Not sure on that. Haven't actually really tried it yet. So ah yes, our lovely whoa, look out! Uh, our lovely uh, whoa, okay, that might have taken out the sign. Our lovely uh, John Deere sign. Oh, by the way, speaking of the John Deere sign, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not. Uh, for those you want the John Deere sign, it is now a uh, placeable you can get. So there is a, a placeable version of it. Of course, the one I have there was actually a, like, a, like well, I don't know what we would call it. Prefab, I, believe, I think that's what they call it. That it can be inserted into the map. Uh, but now it is actually a modded placeable. So, yeah, for those of you who want the John Deere sign, it also includes the uh, John Deere flag as well, I believe. I believe both the uh, flag and the sign. So, uh, anyway, oh, you know what? I should probably not park this truck here because I am probably going to want what's behind that door. Also, there's a mower here I should probably really bring back sometime. Maybe try that one out as well. Okay, uh, speaking of a mower here, what uh, deck did I put on this one? Uh, don't remember. should really check that out sometime. Anyway... Ah, uh, you folks remember seeing what's behind this? Uh, it uh, it has shown up in a couple of videos here, everyone. I haven't really uh, pointed it out or shown it, but uh, let's see what's here. What's behind the door? Why does the door not open? Oh, that's weird. Okay, door not open. I can see it in there. There it goes. Uh, why was it not opening before? Nah. -ha. Okay, well, it's, it's got some slight brand issues, maybe, everyone, at case and all, but, hey, look what we got. We got ourselves a, uh, I guess it would be considered a steam tractor, yes. I know someone suggested a while back I should get one, and I have had it for a while, just uh, haven't uh, taken the time to get it out and use it yet. So, yes, we got the case, oh, uh, what is this thing called here, even again, uh, small tractors here, all the way to the end, the case 1919. So, yes, there it is, the Case 1919 has a whopping 65 horsepower. Woohoo, 65 horsepower. Look at that. Yeehaw. So, uh, yeah, let's get this uh, loaded up on a trailer here. How fast this, did it say 9 miles per hour? Is that how fast this thing goes? Let's uh, see once here. Back to the end of the scrolling here. A whopping, wow, look at that. 9 miles an hour, everyone. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that's, that's going to be brutal. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's grab our big... Uh, trailer here and big truck uh, technically not really ours I call this the uh, the dealer's truck here you know why does the John Deere dealer have a case hmm. must be why we got it real cheap they wanted to you know get rid of it undoubtedly uh, as far as work on the farm here goes by the way uh, still working on planting wheat on field 5 um, let's see the 850 is supposed to be working on plowing I'm, I'm guessing it's probably quit probably get him going again Oh, let's see what's here. Oh, he actually, he's, he's almost finished. Just a little corner left there. Also, I need to get the harvester re-going on the new field we bought there as well. To get the corn off that field. And maybe we'll take that mower back with us here as well before I forget about it. We got room on the deck anyway. Nope, nope, wrong spot. Try that again. There we go. Uh, this, again, by the way, is the Fontaine uh, trailer pack. If you're looking for a uh, hauling uh, equipment around, definitely one of the uh, better packs out there at the moment, if you ask me. Definitely have some uh, different configuration options, including trailers that are actually uh, wide enough to uh, haul most equipment. So, it's like a drive over deck to me. I think this is the uh, side discharge one. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh... Interesting. Slowly spinning. Huh. You like that. We'll just set that there. There we go. We got a little bit of sound going on. Gonna shut that mower off so we can hear it better.
Guess I don't need a trailer quite this big for this tractor, do I? <laughs> Although, actually, uh, th this tractor probably, at least in real life, would be very, very heavy. So, well, it might be plenty wide enough. It's also very heavy. So, okay, let's uh, grab a mower deck here for this one. Let's see. I think that was under mowers, right? Uh, side discharge, no discharge. This was, yes, I have the side discharge. Let's get the no discharge one, I guess. That's what a lot of people suggested I do the last time I did some mowing, and that's, uh, you know, come to think of, probably a really good idea. Actually, I do have, uh, I've got a rhino mower. thought I had one other mower here, too. No. Nope. Well, no, I do have a rhino mower, though. Which I think that one had no discharge on it as well. Let's see, where's the new deck? Ah, oh, there's the new deck. Ah, uh, we'll just drive over there and grab it. Overall, not a bad looking uh, case mower here. The only thing I think looks really funny on the back is the hitch and three point system. I'm betting uh, whoever did this mod probably stole it off of some other uh, tractor. And uh, yeah, it's just, whoa, whoa. Uh, it's just like way, way too big for this tractor. I mean, way too big. Also, bloody European hitch on the back. Uh oh. I'd be a little stuck getting on the, the trailer here. Oh, there we go. No way. Don't don't park it in the middle, I guess. That's... <laughs> oh, well, that'll work. Okay, to the farm we go. I'll try not to lose anything out along the way and or... Uh, not trying to knock down too many uh, road signs on the way back. Okay, and we're rolling. I'll say whoever did the uh, sound for this mod. Whoa, that uh, <coughs> might have might have lost some stuff there. What in the world was that? Oh my goodness, that wasn't cool. Uh, anyway, as I uh, as I was rudely interrupted there, and I was saying uh, whoever did the sound for this truck, that really sounds nice. I like the sounds on this truck. It's probably one of my favorite parts about it. Uh, let's see what's let's see if we lock the different angles and turn the four wheel drive on here. Sure, what, what, what? You can't lock the differentials and turn the four-wheel drive onto one of these tractors? Come on, now. Yeah, we, we seem to be a little, uh, a little stuck up here. Um, okay. Well, that's, that's kind of annoying. Oh, oh. Got one rear tire back on. Uh, you know what, let's, uh, yeah, I know this isn't going to be very nice. Let's see if we can just drag it the rest of the way. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be staying. I don't know what, must be a little spot in the road there or something we hit. <laughs> wow, wasn't expecting that. Oh, we took out one stop sign. So far, not too bad. This is a two sign trip then. Oh, we might take out this one here, too. Oh, yep. <laughs> that one went that one. Oops. Oh, this mailbox is never going to survive. Yeah, no. Mailbox didn't survive. That's fine. All we get in there is bills anyway, so we don't need that. Okay. Let's uh, we'll park that there. Let's get our uh, new tractor unloaded here, and... We'll, uh, we'll find a job for it here. There we go. That that worked. Wow, the uh, the turning radius on this is... <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, we better find something that doesn't need a large turning radius, I'm thinking. This is going to be a multi-point turn here. There we go. Got it. thinking that belt there is probably supposed to turn. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it does, but oh, well. 
Cool everything else does, though, or at least it looks like it is. I mean, you've got all that gearing that's turning. Uh, the steering wheel gear doesn't, I guess, but... All those other big gears there do. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, what shall we do with this tractor? That's the question. Um, I did have a plan I was going to use it for, but then uh, looking at this turning radius here, but I'm not sure that would be the wisest of ideas. Eh, I suppose we could try it, though. Um, the idea was the manure, by the way. <laughs> We're going to give the case tractor a great job. It can spread slurry. Uh, specifically on uh, field one here was my plan. At least, uh, or no, was it field one? Or no, the contours. Let's see what's here. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, what, I thought something needed fertilizer here yet. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, it's uh, lime. That's what we can do. Uh, we'll, uh, we can try that. We'll see once if it'll work with a lime spreader. That's, uh, that's a fairly wide implement, so that might be able to do the job. Let's get this uh, cleaned up here real quick a minute, and then we'll, uh, Let's see what's here. What did he miss? Oh, a little section in the middle of the field here. Okay. Yeah, because the other cultivator, our, uh, oh, what's it lowered? Our, uh, 220 disc also cultivates at the same time. Kind of hard to tell. And this one just uh, leaves a plowed texture. go. That'll work, and I noticed there's a missing spot over on this field here somewhere. Yep, I think I can see that right over there. And then one of the other contours there, too. I noticed that on the end there, we got a little bit of cleaning up we need to do. Speaking of ends, looks like those ends are pretty good. Got a spot here, spot there, and yeah, those ends. Okay. Okay, that works for me. Still using the old uh, John Deere 850 diesel here, by the way, for the uh, plowing. Uh, again, it's the uh, largest uh, John Deere two-cylinder we have. Although, technically, uh, with the way the uh, 30 series and 20 series have been uh, repowered, shall we say, they probably actually have more horsepower now than uh, this tractor does. You know what? I could probably check that. Ooh. All them errors. Lovely. Very cool. Um, let's see what's here. This is something I was shown while modding. Is it attributes? Physics. I believe physics. Oh. Uh-oh. Look at them error messages. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see what's here. It should tell us, I think this was the one that told us the estimated horsepower in the game here this tractor has, I think. Motor load, gear. Available. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Just uh, found it here. Let's see, where are we at here with the plow? Now over here. Uh, we are looking at about 104. It's like 104 horsepower is what I'm seeing it top out at. Uh, again, it. Uh, if you're looking in the kind of the middle of the screen there, halfway down or so, uh, you see available power, and that is the uh, horsepower there. So we're seeing 1,000 RPMs and about 104, 105 horsepower there. And with the plow down, pretty much uh, motor load, yep, maxing it right out about 97% there. Cool. Uh, fuel usage, def, none. Huh. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Anyway, let me uh, turn this off here, everyone. Just don't want to be looking at this all the time, but... Let's see, that was physics. So, yeah, again, for those of you wondering, that's how you can turn that on. You do have to have developer mode on, of course, and then you can actually see what the game estimates the horsepower to be. Uh, again, just because a modder sets... You know, they can go to the mod and tell it it has 200 horsepower, everyone, that doesn't really do anything. You know, so just uh, going into the mod and uh, changing the horsepower, say, from 50 to 200... Uh, to my not I don't think that actually changes anything to my knowledge as far as I know uh, It all has to do with gearing and torque ratios and uh, all that good stuff
Yeah, we'll just uh, finish this last little bit here ourselves. bet in the corner there we'll call that good and wasn't there one other spot here yeah probably hardly worth getting but we'll go ahead and see it's how we're right here looks like it was over on this one here and we'll just uh, clean that headland up and call it good also a couple corn stalks there i wonder if i can get rid of those too because that would be kind of nice wondering if they're just far enough off the field that it won't uh plow them under well actually you know what it should It did. Excellent. Uh, again, that's a problem we have over on the big field there. Uh, we got some crops, so that one it did not get rid of it. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Okay. Very interesting. But yeah, because they're off the field, they won't actually let us uh, plow them. The only way to get rid of them would to be harvest them. So yeah, it means the combine missed it, means the plow missed it, and of course, yeah, the planter's not going to do nothing to it, so oh well. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, we'll get this tractor put away here. We'll go grab our case tractor. We'll get that hooked up to the lime spreader and uh, see once how that works. Hopefully that'll work uh, decent enough because, again, that's about the widest implement I think I have at this point. Get this uh, pulled up by the equipment shed here a moment. And uh, I'll have to try to remember off camera here. I'll just give that a quick uh, bath before I put it away at some point here. old uh, neglected Ford truck over here now that we have the uh, new one. Yes, yeah, so we should uh, give it a give it some more use sometime, shouldn't we? Anyway, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Joey the Redneck was saying the bales you made aren't standard size. Adjust the bale size to 4,000 and the auto loading trailer will work. Uh, it'd also be nice to you know if the baler just made standard size bales. Uh, with that being said, though, I am actually using the uh, bale capacity variable bale capacity mod. I think that was the name of it. I'm not sure how that affects operations either, but it seems like as far as I know, those bales work. I think. Uh, let's see. Oren was saying, "Can I play?" I'm um, not sure if you mean if you want to join us on the multiplayer servers. Uh, sure, you are definitely uh, welcome to do so as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. A reminder there, by the way, for anyone watching, if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, again, you're welcome to do so. That information is down below in the uh, description there. Just uh, join us on the RDL and TeamSpeak server. And again, that uh, TeamSpeak server information is down below in the uh, description. And a reminder, too, by the way, if you want to watch the uh, multiplayer episodes, uh, they are live streamed on Twitch. And then uh, occasionally, when I remember, I do upload those to YouTube as well. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is like brutal on the turns. Wow. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Oh, really? Can't even pull this? Wow. Um... Real life, this should have no problem, I don't think, uh, pulling this uh, spreader. Because, I mean, this this thing would be so stinking heavy that... So, question is, is it a horsepower problem or a weight problem? Ah, so, I'm just curious here, everyone. Um, oh, yeah, there's that error message. Okay, that was from the 850. Got to fix that on that tractor yet. Go back to this vehicle analyze thing. Physics. Ah, yes, look at all that information. I Don't ask me what it all means. I, I, I don't know, but I do know what some of it means here. Uh, so let's see once here. We got an estimated 80 horsepower. Uh, the thing only weighs 3,743. Really? Wow, that's, that's it. 
That does not seem like very much. Not seem like very much at all. Okay. Anyway. We'll just uh, turn that back off here again. And that is uh, GS Vehicle Debug Physics, by the way. I know it's a little hard to see back there with those air messages up there, but... Okay. Let's uh, see if this will work here or not. Uh, maybe it won't. Field 1, 18-meter lime. First waypoint. Uh, okay, that's not down here, is it? Where would the first waypoint be? Uh, well, that's wrong field. Okay, never mind. Let's try field 2. And that is down here, I think. Oh, cool. It actually shows a marker on the map where we're actually Yeah, That's kind of cool. So we should be seeing a start point here any moment. Uh, any moment, he said. I'm missing something here. Looks like it should be like right here somewhere. Uh, you're not displaying this. Nah, uh, supposed to be displaying it. Okay. Um, okay, that really looks like that's the start point there. Maybe not. Um. Well, then. You know what? Um, I'm going to just go back up here, everyone. We're going to tell them to start at the first waypoint. And we'll let Course Play find its way to the first waypoint. It's, it's got to be in here somewhere. And like I said, it looks like it's right there from what I'm seeing on the map. But maybe not, because uh, obviously I don't see a start point over here. So... Oh, yeah. That might not work. This might not work, because he can't even uh, pull it up the hill. Okay. Oh, now he's going. Oh, the RPMs are going down, though. Wow, the RPMs... Or the, yeah, not the RPMs, the speed is really going... Well, actually, I guess the RPMs are going down, too, aren't they? Oh, come on, tractor. Eh, yeah, typical case. That's what you get for relying on it. Should have got a John Deere. Boy, and I said this uh, episode was going to involve some Chevy slagging. We never even got to the Chevy slagging yet, did we? I'm on, Case. I at least want to get it to the field, see once if it'll at least go around here. It's, it's definitely uh, spinning the wheels. I'm thinking probably actually everyone, it's maybe a little heavy. That might be why. Because if you've seen the mass of the tractor, was like 3,000. And, uh, yeah, the mass of the included attachment, what was, was that 14,000, 13, whatever that number was. It was much bigger. Much, much bigger. Okay, let's, uh, we'll put you to first waypoint. Oh, you already are. Eh, how about you just drive course? Go that way somewhere. Yeah, it's going right up the hill here fine now. Okay, well, we'll come back to him in a minute here. Let's get the uh, combine to roll in here again. Not sure what he's doing here. This doesn't quite look right. Oh, of course isn't loaded. Right, that would help. Uh, let's see what's here. Field 6, harvest. Not sure what he's trying to do here. I think I already went around the headland here once, so I wonder if he's trying to go up and down now. Let's uh, make a guess here and assume that's what he's trying to do. Uh, by the way, again, this is the field I uh, bought. Plan on turning this into a hay field, so uh, straight hay only. Oh, is the start point? Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay, everyone. Uh, yep, yeah. the start point is probably over here because the line overlaps. 
It looks like it's there. That's probably what I'm looking at. I bet that's what it is. Yep, there's the start point. Okay. Now, there's just a maybe a possible suggestion for the uh, course play developers. Maybe actually put, like, the start, stop point icons on the map. That would be actually be kind of handy. Because, like I said, if you look at the map, the way you can kind of tell the start, stop point is you kind of look at the shade of the green. Obviously, the darker red is where it stops, and the, the brighter green is where it starts. Which, <laughs> uh isn't quite in the right spot there, Track. Yeah, the, the turning radius is going to get him, isn't it? Let's uh, see if we can line him up with it. Horse play, I don't think it's going to like this. That is some uh, really black smoke coming out of that uh, stack there, too, isn't it? Yeehaw. True roll and coal here, by the way. Or, well, it might be wood, too. I'm not sure. This is coal or wood. Eh, got guess some of those boxes on the back. That's probably coal. Oh, and by the way, in case I haven't mentioned it, yes, I did put uh, GPS on this. For those of you wondering, yes, I bought this tractor with GPS on it. Just because I can. Yeah, my goodness, this is going to be horrible making this turn. Yeah, this is never going to work. Never, never going to work. Okay, we might just have to park this in the front yard, everyone, and uh, it'll be like a lawn ornament because, yeah, I don't think that's really going to do a whole lot. But at least uh, for those who want an old uh, steam tractor, there is one out there somewhere. Uh, just look for the Case 1919. I don't know where this one came from. Uh, I, well, I've got a pretty good idea where I got it from, but to where it actually came from, that I do not know. Uh, that's close enough to the start point. Off with you. Mm, that's a little, little slow. Actually, watch. Uh, th that's actually probably fine, everyone, if he's going a little slow. Because uh, I'm using the variable rate application mod, which I believe will vary the rate per the speed of the vehicle. So if he goes really slow, it should really slow the rate of application down, which should be fine. That should actually not be a problem then. Uh, of course, with normal farming sim physics, it kind of would be because it would just use it up at an astronomical rate. Watch, yeah, that wouldn't be cool. Okay, let's get you off the field here. Uh, you know what? I'm probably going to wait to plant this field until we uh, skip through the night here. Speaking of skipping through the night, I think I mentioned this last episode. I need to uh, look into the weight here of something here. I don't know if the cultivator is too heavy yet or the tractor here is too light, but... That cultivator that will we'll throw some of these smaller tractors around a little bit. Oh, let's see how the animals are looking here. Like I said, if we're going to... Ooh, nice icon. Ooh, speaking of icons here, Evan, I kind of like those. Uh, I've got the global company add-on icons. I think that's what they're called. Something like that. The global company. Uh, again, a couple people over the weekend here recommended that mod. I added the icons here the other day. And then it uh, kindly reminded me, hey, you need to have the main mod, the global company mod itself, which I downloaded, but I forgot to activate. So uh, this time around, I finally remembered to activate it. So we got all new icons here. So, uh, Jeffrey, you're off the hook. I don't think you need to remind me anymore as to what silage. Um, okay, maybe you do grass, hay, and straw is. I'm pretty sure that's grass. A little bit lighter green, so that's got to be the grass. And that's got to be the hay there. And then, of course, straw. So yes, uh, they still got all the same icons here. They just they got them colored a little bit different. So yes, definitely liking those icons. Again, that's on the uh, Farming Simulator Mod Hub, by the way, if you want to get those. And I see, I didn't realize it changed the uh, animal icons, but it did change those as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, almost time to wrap up this episode here as well. We do need to clean the cows. Well, we don't really have to clean the pigs, I guess. It's kind of surprising. And yeah, the chickens could use some cleaning. Okay, let's... Uh, Okay, well, maybe real quick here. Before we wrap up the episode, let's clean the animals. This shouldn't take too long. Assuming the, uh, assuming the skids here works, and we've still got a lawnmower we need to get off there yet as well. Ah, uh, yeah, still the hydraulic problems yet. Hmm, nope. A lot of people were saying uh, maybe it's the controller you got plugged into my computer. I don't know if you folks would pick up on that ding-dong that just happened there. I uh, mean, I disconnected something from the computer. Yeah, that was the uh, controller I had connected. Oh. Maybe it quit. We'll see you once.
See if that uh, makes a difference or not. Wow, something still does not seem right. Notice when I'm trying to tilt the bucket, everyone. Can you hear it? You probably can hear it more than you can see it. It's like. Not sure why it's doing that. That's weird. Uh oh wait, wait oh I was just about to dump this in the the uh the uh trough there everyone and uh yeah so just remember no can't do that. Yeah, what's the some still not right with that bucket here. I, I don't know. That tips up fine. The the down though, emptying out. Okay, well Maybe I just need to restart the game, too, with a controller unplugged, see if that makes a difference as well. I should try that. Uh, anyway, on that note, everyone, with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here, folks. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Hope you liked uh, seeing that steam tractor. Uh, like I said, it's probably just going to be a lawn ornament here because uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be much we can do with it. I, I didn't actually pay for it either. I just cheated it in because, like, wow, $120,000 for what was potentially going to be a lawn ornament. Like, yeah, we'll just cheat it in and see once if it works or not. It works. It drives. Doesn't look like there's much we can do about uh, with it. But uh, other than that, oh well. Probably stuck in the no. Oh, he's oh he is stuck in the trees down there, isn't he? Yes. I was kind of afraid of that the first turn he got to, he wasn't going to make it and get stuck. Yep. Oh well. Like I said, everyone. Again, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And we'll we'll have to get some more Chevy bashing in next uh, next episode. We're severely lacking on that here this episode. So. Until next time.